Hello, and welcome to this build for a Corgi Magic Roundabout Citroen DS. And here's the starting point a rather battered and bruised Corgi Citroen DS with the Magic Roundabout characters in. I remember many years ago as a child uh, at Christmas I was expecting a Corgi car off my sister and I'd just reached that age between being a baby and a bit more grown up if you will you know that stage where you say oh that's a baby thing and I remember expecting a Corgi car and I'm expecting old man from Uncle Old so that's off my sister then I unboxed this and I went your heart sinks doesn't it <laughs> let's be honest you're at that age your heart sinks you're like what the hell's this but anyway it became uh, one I enjoyed and played with and stuff it was a nice little thing as things go, you don't know where, what happened to them when you grow up. They went somewhere, I presume, I don't know where. And here we are stripping it out, strip the characters out. You have Dylan the rabbit, Dougal the dog, and Brian the snail in the driver's seat. And here I'm taking the wheels off, they're individual to the car. As they have flowers moulding on the inside of the wheels. So they're very individual to the car. And it's got Corgi springing mechanism in. Just a couple of lengths of spring steel. And just there's, there's Dylan the rabbit popping his head in. Seeing what's going on. I love how he's got those heavy eyes like he's stoned. <laughs> In fact, the tail goes for the magic roundabout. That all the characters were on drugs because it were at that time and it were flower power. The rabbit were called Dylan because it were after Bob Dylan. And Dougal, all the different types of do drugs. Like Dylan with a pothead, obvious reason. Zebedee was on the speed, and he had all them things that, how true it was, I don't know, but it's a uh, quite giggled something. And if you get time, look it up on YouTube. There should be a next excerpt of Jap. Jasper Carrot doing the magic roundabout. And in it you get you get stuff like do you reckon Florence is a virgin? And then another one of them says oh drop some for sure. And you've got all, all funny stuff like that. It's worth a watch. Give it a watch. Jasper Carrot. Magic roundabout. If you haven't seen it it'll give you a chuckle. And there uh, now I've scraped all the transfers off.
Anyway, here's the vehicle. Stripped down into all its basic components. I think looking at it, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six. There's about sixteen parts in all without comparing the stickers as extra parts. Here I'm just sanding off any rough parts. Like the bonnet was fairly rough and etc. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a sand. Along the way so it looks better once it's in paint. And you may have noticed at the back a couple of other cars stripped. As we move around my bench there's... I think it's three there for my three blind mice builds. Two for the 1950s. And there's the van around somewhere for the... Invitational build. Anyway, I'm painting the inserts on... The wheels, I'm painting them with a Molotov pen. First I'm sanding them to get the rough bits out that have been caused by playing. Just with light sandpaper then we go on to a Molotov pen for the detail painting. Which it's quite a nice touch really that they made the individual wheels for this car. They actually put a flower in the centre of each one. As I say at the time, as you do when you're a kid and you're a lad, you think, Jesus, I've got one with flowers on the wheels, but... As, as you get older and mature, you think, oh, it was quite a nice touch, really. By the designers, because it was... It was a part of the magic roundabout, all the flowers on the floor and Ermin Trude. The cow used to spin a flower around in her mouth. And another little interesting factoid for you as well was during the 70s, before they retired the aircraft type, the RAF, used to use Shackleton aircraft for reconnaissance. It was a big four-engined reconnaissance aircraft developed off the Lancaster. And each one that they used were named after a character from the Magic Roundabout. And we have, ironically, my favourite character is in the museum at Manchester in the Air and Space Museum and that one's Dougal. Anyway here yeah, I'm giving the wheels a dip in some Tamiya X22 clear coat to restore the sh shine a bit and make them look a bit more like the new thing. And here, I'm going on to spray painting. I'm putting the first tack coat on here, really. It's been primed. And here it's been given a tack coat. Spraying round and about. This video, because I've added a few little extras, because it's something a bit different. It's a bit longer than normal, but if you bear with it. It's only a couple of minutes, I think it's about 20 minutes instead of my normal 18. And just off screen and we're coming back on where I'm laying a bit more colour on. <coughs> now I'm using, learning to use this one a bit better. I'm actually taking to it, it's quite a nice colour. It's the Vallejo colour. And I think it's more of an auto pack for her brushing, for doing, you know, murals like customizers do. 
it's only about a five pack of all the basic colours. And here, yeah, I'm putting the stickers on the vehicle. That's an absolutely superb sticker, that one on the bonnet. The actual magic roundabout. And as it was 70s, late 60s, early 70s, we have the flower power stickers practically everywhere. It was a very, if you look back at it, it was a very hippie program and flower power program from all that, from that era and all the ethics. It was actually, we had it shown on the BBC in the UK, but it was actually a French program that we imported from France and it was dubbed into English. But it was a superb program. You loved it as a kid when we were younger. I don't think there was a kid in the UK who didn't like the magic roundabout. And there uh, we're going to be. I'm doing a sympathetic rest of on the figures. I don't think I actually put any paint on Brian the Snail at all. And Dylan the Rabbit needed a bit of an hand. And Dougal even lesser of a hand really. Poor, poor old Dylan's ears here. All the paints have been worn off. Sadly it's what happened on him, but more normal. As my one as a kid I remember. I bit the ears off him. And if you're looking for this model, Brian, um, Dylan will more than likely have no ears. Because it must have been a thing kids did. They bit his ears off. Poor sod. Induced myxomatosis. <laughs> What's that about? Anyway, here we are. So I've mixed my own flesh colour out of my Vallejo model colour. I use dark flesh with a bit of burnt red because it was an unusual flesh tone really. Uh, they probably mixed it in factory or had it ready mixed. But oh, it looks good when it's actually on but you're like, oh is that flesh colour? And here, what am I painting here? Let's have a look. I don't know whether I'm still on the flesh colour or not. I can't see because my big hands in wet. Yeah, I'm still on the flesh colour. I'm just dotting in places where it was missing. Where it's got scratches and stuff over the years. I didn't want to ruin the authentic factory finish too much, I just tidied it up where they'd been a bit cack handed in the factory, touched in places of the, where the paint were missing and here I'm going in with a black on his nose. Like luckily I've not had to paint the eyes in, they were left in quite good. I think it's because how the figure actually is. And here Dougal's nose has had some scuffing. So I'll touch that in. And it's broaded up glossy again. So he's gone from having a matte nose to a glossy nose. So he must be healthy now his nose is wet and shiny again. And here I'm just touching in his tongue that had received some scratching. And Dougal looks the business again. Not quite as worn as he was. Ready so all ready to go back into the car. And here I'm just touching in the white on Dylan. Cause I went down in between his teeth for the black, so I'll have to touch his teeth then. And I'm giving his scarf an extra coat. Here we are, go, just going in to touch his teeth. A 
looks like a weird rabbit. Oh yeah, there we go. Dylan with his teeth done. And looking quite dapper. With new coat of paint. I'm going in now. With the... Am I still on the white? I think I'm still on the white. Or am I? No, I've mixed up the grey here. I've mixed up the grey and I'm touching up his hair. So it's as it should be. Very 60s. Very sick, late 60s, early 70s hair. Longer down to the shoulder and a bit of a fringe. It was very late 60s, early 70s hair style. Oops. Stoned his fell over and again. Having difficulty stood up and there we go. Looks a lot nicer with his quarter paint. <coughs> well, he's touched up paint. And here, uh, I've polished the screen and I've given it a quick paint with a wide brush with the Tamiya X22. So it looks a lot better. And here I'm laying the parts out as they're ready to go in. I've not touched the under chassis plate, which is interesting. It has magic roundabout written on it with all the flowers. So it's pretty interesting that way. The wheels there are done restored, the interior. With Dylan stood in it there. The bumper, I pulled the wrong bumper out. As I bought, they did this model in the Tour de France version with rider figures and everything. And I bought one of them that had been damaged. They'd smashed the windy unit on it because I couldn't find a bumper. So I bought another damaged version of it to salvage a bumper out of it. At this point I hadn't taken it to pieces. I hadn't... I'd got to the building up stage. I'm putting liquid poly on there to glue in Dylan because the plastic snapped out of it. The, they're a weird sort of eyelet rivet, if you will. That hold the men, an odd sort of thing. And um, when you strip it down, unfortunately, they're difficult to do. And it'll usually break the plastic on the base, which it did with me. So I've had to liquid poly it back in. And Dougal just got super glued back in. He was proper awkward. And here, I was going to screw it back together. But I forgot I stripped the thread, so I ended up super gluing it. And putting the screw in. And here's the Tour de France DS. I've took the bumper out at that stage. And here we are. On to the finished article with Dougal and Dylan happily in the back there. And Brian the snail sticking his head out of the window. All in all, it looks brilliant. Takes me back to a place for happy memories. And at that certain time on an evening after school, you'd hear the magic roundabout music. Anyway, thank you for watching and bye.